What's going on guys? Vanatix here bringing you a World War Z video. They dropped a big patch this morning. And by big, I mean actually small, but for whatever reason, you had to re-download like 15 gigs on the console and like 2 to 3 gigs on PC. But that being said, they did come out with an update, kind of like a hot fix, a small patch quality of life, if you will, buffing the weapons. The prestige weapons are now more relevant than they were before. Let's jump into the patch notes. Hello survivors, we have just released a patch on all platforms to resolve some issues. Thank you for all your feedback. It is very helpful in identifying and resolving any bugs the horde mode update will arrive in december please find all the details below so real quick horde mode is coming in december is confirmed december we didn't know if maybe it'd come the end of november but i assume we all kind of guess it's going to be december all right weapons improved stats of the golden assault rifle pistol and advanced smg so now they are identical to their level 5 upgradable versions so the global pack bundle the golden weapons that you probably got when you pre-purchased the game way back when well now they're actually relevant Wow, amazing. Okay, Prestige Scout Rifle, increase the damage and the accuracy. The Prestige Classic Battle Rifle, increase the accuracy. And the Prestige Crossbow, increase the max ammo, damage, and accuracy. Prestige Combat Shotgun, increased max ammo. We're going to check into those just a little bit, just finishing the patch notes of the UI. There was a few UI and localization fixes, stability, they fixed some gameplay crashes, and some server crashes resulting in disconnects. Levels fixed a large number of gameplay bugs that were causing inability to progress in levels, especially in New York 4 and Moscow 4 levels. Fixed issues with prestige levels not saying correctly in some cases. Neither this one fixed issue with maximum completed difficulty display as an episode screens, but here it is folks. Completing levels with mutators in private lobby will not count towards earning unique weapon rewards. Basically meaning that that method of farming for the prestige weapons is now no longer a thing. Now I haven't tested to confirm if this is actually working or not, but from what they're saying is is now no longer works. However, people did confirm that you're still gaining experience and challenge points and coin. You can still level up, but you still can't get prestige points this way. I, I don't know. I'm confused. I don't really understand it myself. If you do understand it or you've already tested it out enough to know, let me know in the comment section below, but I'm going to go ahead and load up the game and check about these changes in the weapons. All right, so I just loaded up World War Z. We're going to jump into not the classes, but the weapons. So they said that they changed the scout rifle now to have increased all right, so they said they changed the scout rifle, the damage, and the accuracy. Sure enough, the power used to be 5 and the accuracy used to be 6. So they bumped the power and accuracy up by 2. Comparing that to the tier 5 now, it is actually going to be better now, damage-wise. Maybe not accuracy, but who cares about that? But damage-wise, it is going to be better, and you're going to have that wolf pack perk, so that's super nice. Next on the list, they talked about the classic battle rifle. They increased the accuracy by 1. It used to be 5, and it is now 6. So I was just looking at the crossbow change. It talked about increasing the maxed ammo, the damage, and the accuracy. So the damage used to be 6, but now it is 8. The accuracy is now 9. It used to be 10. And then the max ammo, of course, isn't mentioned here. I thought maybe it was magazine size, but I misread it. It's the max ammo count. So now you can have more bolts in total, but your magazine sign is still 4 instead of the 5 at max. However, it does give a compelling argument that, hey, it might be good enough at this point. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And then they updated the combat shotgun, which of course all they did was increase the max ammo, so that didn't change anything, power accuracy, magazine, or anything like that. If anything, it's pretty much the same. I mean, having the Eagle Scout perk, which if you don't remember what that is, it's the shotgun range is increased by 150%. Each pellet can penetrate one additional target. So pretty good against hordes. But other than that, the tier 5 is still doing more damage and has a larger magazine size, so you can shoot more before having to reload. I don't know. Anyways, those were those changes, but they did also make changes to the gold weapon. So check it out. The pistol now is just as relevant as the tier 5. Check this out. So here's the tier 5, 4974, 4884. So they just increased to make the damage identical. Wait, they're supposed to be identical. That doesn't look identical to me. Let's check another one. What was another golden weapon? The assault rifle? So 678616. They're not identical. They said... They are now identical to their level 5 upgradable versions. However, they're not identical. Either I'm crazy or they're not. What's another one? There's a assault rifle. The advanced SMG is one more one, right? 87891. 86. They're all different. <laughs> they're not identical. Now, but they do seem a lot more relevant, though. And, remember, if you happen to get this bundle, or when you first bought the game and you had pre-ordered, now they're actually relevant months later, and just, who cares at this point. Anyways, guys, what do you think about this new update, this new patch? Again, they had they had, seem to have nerfed the prestige farm. However, the credit they're experiencing is still working, and they have made the prestige weapons much better. Is this an overall good update? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.